And when you're doing a canoe, it's very important that the heart of the wood be sound where there's no rot, because I used the whole tree. So the log I got was 35 feet in length. It's a red cedar, and it's old growth that came from Coquitlam. And Coquitlam is a little town outside of Vancouver, BC. So, and then <clears throat> it was trucked down there. And when I got the log, what I did was I measured the length like I wanted to do a 30-foot canoe, so I measured it in meters, and then I divided it by 10, and then I made a model, one-tenth the size. I measured the log first, and then divided it by 10, and then I made a log exactly the same size, but one-tenth the size. And then I started carving the canoe out of that log, and then I just carved half of it, because I just needed measurements for the half. So that way, the log I'm using was exactly the same as this, so whatever cut we did on the small one, we were able to do on the large one. When I was hollowing it, what I did was, because I had my model, I knew how much I was able to take out without going into the sides on the outside. So what, I, what you do on the bow and stern is you cut a rectangle and then you hollow it down, and that way it's easier. So what I did was I had a chainsaw with a mill, and so what I did was ran, once I dug the hole out on the bow and stern, I got the chainsaw and ran it down both sides, and then I cut it in the middle, and then I got wedges and popped out one-foot sections of the canoe. And I was told that you never use anything from the middle for the canoe. And, but because uh, it's in San Francisco and using red cedar and it's hard to get wood there, I kept the wood from the middle for the seats because when I was at the uh, Museum of Anthropology, I seen an old Edenshaw canoe where it, his, the model canoe wasn't just board. What he did was carve the seats so that the seats were on an angle to the outside. So when you sat on it, you sat on a little angle and what I noticed on that is when you're paddling, you have to lean against the edge. So your cheek that's leaning against the edge of the canoe usually goes to sleep. But these seats are on an angle, so you're on the right angle of leaning against the side so your cheek didn't go to sleep. So it wasn't just for to be pretty. It was for a reason why the seat was on. And that's the only model canoe I've seen with the seats carved like that. And so I used that as my model for my seats. I wanted to go that little extra, 